Here is an interesting trick for you. Did you know that there is an easy way to increase the stroke of a line art or scanned text? In ideal case, you would have the original of a line art or vector art. This would allow you to quickly change the stroke of the objects. But sometimes we don't have the original and we are too lazy to recreate the vector or trace it. So what if we want to increase the stroke in a line art image file? Here's a quick and dirty way which is very effective. Let's just add a minimum blur filter and set the radius to about 2 or 3 pixels. Pretty awesome. Works for most images, as long as the lines are of a darker color. For example, for this image it also works quite well. As this will make the lines thicker, you can use the built-in mask of the filter to remove the effect from specific areas. After you edit the minimum filter, make sure the filter layer is selected and use the brush tool with a black color to paint out the areas you don't want to be affected. As mentioned, this works perfect for dark lines. However, for white lines on a dark background, it doesn't do a good job. For example, let's apply the minimum filter for this image. As you see, it adds a black border around them. Let me zoom in so we can see it more clearly. Actually, applying the minimum filter makes the lines thinner in a way. The solution is to use the opposite of the minimum filter, which is the maximum filter. If I enable the maximum filter, the white lines have become thicker. Pretty cool. If I increase the radius, you can see it even more clearly that the white lines get super thick. As the maximum filter does the opposite of the minimum filter, we can also use it to make strokes on a light background thinner. Interestingly enough, we can also achieve the same with a minimum filter. If I add an invert adjustment, the image will now have a dark background and light strokes. As you might remember, the minimum filter makes the lines thinner with a dark background. So when I apply the minimum filter, the white lines will become thinner. If I add another invert adjustment on top of it, we get the original back, but with thinner lines. Pretty cool. A very practical use case is for scans of written text. By applying these two filters, I can quickly make the text I wrote thicker or thinner. I hope you liked this quick video and found it useful. Thank you for watching and until the next video.